What is up G Crew? I'm Chris G bringing you guys with another video. In today's video we're going to be discussing on how to complete a video from start to finish in, uh, in HitFilm Express. When you first open up HitFilm Express you're going to see that there's going to be a ton of windows. Um, most of them are just video editing tutorials and there's going to be others that show you just add-on packs that you can get on uh, later down the road. And then there's also going to be a tab where you can open new projects and old projects. For the sake of this video, we're going to be opening up a new project and once you do that, you're going to see that there's going to be a new window that pops up that you can adjust the settings. In the settings, you can also change the duration of the timeline. So if you're going to have a two minute video, you can already set it to two minutes. Or if it's going to be a five minute video, you can change it to five minutes as well. Once you're happy with the settings, just hit OK and then you can start your project. Just so we're on the same page, go to the top of your screen and hit View go to workspace and change it to compositing so we can both see the same exact screen. As you notice there's a bunch of different panels that are on the screen. At the very bottom is the timeline and the timeline that's where you're going to import all your videos. The next panel is going to be the viewing screen and that's where you're going to be able to preview everything you're going to edit. Next over to the left is going to be the effects panel along with the texting and the controls panel. Um, those three are going to be mainly to just add on onto the video that you already have uh, to make the project just that much better. And all the way to the left side is going to be the media panel. That's where you're actually going to import your footage. If you're wondering on how to import footage, all you have to do is hit import on the left of your screen and then you're going to um, open up your files and select the ones that you want, put them into the project and there you go. So once you've imported all the clips that you want onto your project, in order to get them on the timeline, all you have to do is click and drag them onto the timeline. It's as simple as that. Once you're done editing your project, all you have to do now is to export it. To export it, on the right side of your screen, you're going to see the small little export button on the timeline. Uh, you're going to hit that, choose in and out or the contents um, below. And what that means is you can select a part of the project that you want. If you're just trying to export a certain part of it, you can do that with in and out or the all contents that's going to be everything in the timeline so to access the exporting window all you have to do is hit control 3 on pc or command 3 on mac another way to do it is to go on the top left of your screen and hit view and then go to export and then that'll take you to the exporting um, window when exporting a file make sure that it matches the footage that you've been editing so if i'm editing a 1080 file I don't want to export at a 720 because then it's just going to compress the file. Make sure that you're editing at 1080 and then exporting at 1080, 4K and 4K, etc. Once you're done selecting your preset, all you have to do now is to hit start and then it will start exporting. And that's how you complete a project guys from start to finish. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any questions about the video or anything in specific, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'll get right back to you guys as soon as I can. Uh, but without further ado guys, peace.